For Mateau's calculation, you must know the specific gravity of the liquid chemical and the percent active ingredient. In each chemical delivery, the truck driver should give the plant operator a receiver report with this information. The operator should test the chemical on every delivery with a hydrometer to confirm the specific gravity before the chemical is unloaded off the truck. Mistakes can happen at the chemical manufacturing plant or the chemical loading station. The best time to discover a problem with the chemical is while it is in the truck, not in your bulk tank. An example of a specific gravity is 1.32 for aluminum sulfate or alum. Alum is a coagulant and helps remove the turbidity from the water. The specific gravity of 1.32 means that alum is 32% heavier than water. Alum is 49% aluminum sulfate. It is important to know the active ingredient since only 49% of the alum you feed at your plant will coagulate the water. An important formula for calculating feed rate is pounds per day is equal to flow in million gallons per day, or MGD, times the dose in milligrams per liter, times the constant 8.34. This formula is very important and should be memorized by water treatment plant operators. You're working at a plant and the computer system is down and you have to manually set the alum feed pump to feed 10 milligrams per liter of alum at a plant operating at 3 million gallons per day. How do you know how many milliliters per minute you need to feed? The first thing you want to do is write down our trustee formula, pounds per day, is equal to flow in million gallons per day times the milligrams per liter times the constant 8.34. Then we plug in our flow of 3 mgd and our dose of 10 milligrams per liter. Multiply that out and get a 250 pounds per day feed rate. The 250 pounds per day is for any treatment chemical at 3 mgd and a dose of 10 milligrams per liter. Now we need to convert the 250 pounds to our specific chemical, which is 49% alum. We multiply the specific gravity of alum, which is 1.32, times 8.34, or the weight of one gallon of water, and determine that a gallon of alum weighs 11 pounds. But only 49% of alum is aluminum sulfate, so we must multiply 0.49 times 11 to determine that there are 5.4 pounds of aluminum sulfate in a gallon of alum. For any chemical, once we know the pounds per day we need to feed and the pounds per gallon of the active ingredient in our chemical, we can determine the accurate feed rate. We know we want to feed 250 pounds per day and alum has 5.4 pounds per gallon. So all we have to do is convert to milliliters per minute, which is a typical way of setting a chemical feed pump. In our chemical expression, we first write our goal of 250 pounds per day. Then we want to convert to minutes, so we multiply by a day has 24 hours, and then an hour has 60 minutes. Next, we want to include in our expression that a gallon of alum has 5.4 pounds of aluminum sulfate. To convert from gallons to milliliters, we multiply by 3785 milliliters in a gallon. Now it's just a matter of canceling units. If you have a pound in a numerator and a pound in a denominator, they cancel out. And days cancel out, and hours cancel out, and gallons cancel out. So what we're left with is milliliters per minute. So if you multiply 250 times 3785, you get 947007 in the numerator. If you multiply 24 times 60 times 5.4, you get 7776 in the denominator, which is 122 mils per minute of alum. To achieve a dose of 10 milligrams per liter at a plant operating at 3 million gallons per day. Here's another example for feeding sodium hypochlorite, or hypo, at a dose of 3 milligrams per liter at a plant operating at 10 million gallons per day. We follow the same procedure as our alum calculation and start with pounds per day equals flow in million gallons per day times milligrams per liter times the constant 8.34. We get the same feed rate of 250 pounds per day, but since we are using a different chemical, the milliliters per minute feed rate will be different. This hypo has a specific gravity of 1.25, and when we multiply by 8.34, we determine that a gallon of hypo weighs about 10.4 pounds per gallon. The hypo is 12.5%, 0.125 times 10.4, 
shows us the active ingredient hypo is 1.3 pounds per gallon. The hypo calculation is the same as the alum calculation, except we have 1.3 pounds per gallon in the denominator instead of the 5.4 pounds for alum. And just like the alum calculation, now it's just a matter of canceling unit. The pounds cancel, day cancels, hour cancels, and gallons cancel, and we're left with mils per minute. So if we multiply the 250 times 3785, once again we get 947007 in the numerator. 24 times 60 times 1.3 is 1872 minutes in the denominator, which gives us a feed rate of 506 mils per minute of hypo to dose 3 milligrams per liter at 10 mgd. Another common chemical at water treatment plants is ammonia. Calculating the feed rate is similar to alum hypo, but there is a slight difference. Ammonia is fed to water with a free coin residual with the goal of creating monochloramine. To properly dose the ammonia, the feed rate is based on the nitrogen portion of ammonia, which is represented as ammonia as nitrogen. The atomic weight of nitrogen is 14, and the atomic weight of hydrogen is 1. The atomic weight of ammonia is 17. To calculate the correct feed rate for ammonia, it is important to calculate the nitrogen portion of ammonia, or 14 divided by 17, or 82.4%. Other than adding the ammonia as nitrogen factor, the ammonia feed rate calculation is the same as alum and sodium hypochlorite. We start with pounds per day is equal to flow in million gallons per day, times milligrams per liter, times 8.34. In this example, we want to determine the correct feed rate of ammonia for a dose of 0.4 milligrams per liter at a plant operating at 10 mgd. When we multiply 10 times 0.4 times 8.34, we get a feed rate of 33.4 pounds per day. Ammonia has a specific gravity of 0.926, so it is lighter than water and weighs about 7.7 pounds per gallon. The ammonia is 19%, and we need to calculate the nitrogen portion of the ammonia. So we add the 14 divided by 17 factor to determine that we have 1.21 pounds per gallon. Similar to earlier calculations we discussed, everything is the same except we have 33.4 pounds per day in the numerator and 1.21 pounds in the denominator. We go through the same process and we cancel all our units. We cancel pounds and days and hours and gallons and once again, we're left with mils per minute. 33.4 times 3785 in the numerator is 126419 mils, and 24 times 60 times 1.21 is 1742 minutes. When we calculate that out, we get 73 mils per minute of ammonia as nitrogen to feed 0.4 milligrams per liter of ammonia as nitrogen at a plant operating at 10 MGD. I hope